Okay, here we have Ash Kangal. He's about uh, four and a half months, more or less. Pretty much four and a half months. And uh, we're just doing some work with the, uh, putting on the easy, gentle. easy, gentle leader. That's right, gentle leader. Getting him used to wearing it so that when we go for walks, he's not pulling as much. And uh, what did you want to point out again? Uh, so we actually started with the slip lead, which is kind of like a leash, but with no collar and you just wrap it around and it sits high behind the ears, which is supposed to give you more control when you're walking because you want to keep your dog's nose off the ground and with Kangles, they want to smell everything. So that's really hard for him to focus on what you're telling him to do if his nose isn't off the ground when you're walking him. And we found with that was that it kept slipping down, slipping down, and his fur's like really soft. So that became a real issue for us. So then we tried to do the collar. And um, with the collar, the problem is, is that when it's sitting low like this and you're walking him, that puts him into a pole. That, that's for pulling. So that's really great if you have like a sled dog or um, hunting dog, you want to do tracking, stuff like that. But um, it wasn't working for us because it was making him pull when we were taking him for walks. And sometimes when you would put it up a little bit higher and like this is pretty loose, right? Because we're not use, gonna use this as walking anymore, but it would go into like the middle of his throat and that is where you get the dogs choking on the leash. And we didn't want that because that can damage his um, his uh, larynx. And obviously you can't have it high up. So this is where um, we did some research and a lot of the trainers were saying to try the gentle leader. So it's not a muzzle. So he's able to eat, he's able to drink and bark and bite and do whatever he needs to do. but. The control comes from underneath where we're actually able to control his nose and this sits high up behind the ears so it's the pressure points that are behind here that will help give us some control and um, this is supposed to help get the dog's nose off the ground uh, so right now we're just practicing with him wearing it so that he's not gonna be like scratching at his face on walks. So we've been doing this for maybe about a week and a half now. So now he's wearing it for a little bit longer of a period. We're giving him his favorite treat right now, his trachea, so that he's able to um, like just get used to wearing it for a longer and longer period of time. And then we're gonna transition to going for walks. And we really need to do that because he's like, what? 55 pounds right now and maybe closer to 60 probably at this point point. and when he has a lot of energy and you're just starting out with the walks he just pulls like crazy like I could honestly if he saw something he wanted to go after he probably would dislocate my, my shoulder oh and, his power is crazy right now even at four months and even though like he understands hill it's it's just like you're trying to constantly getting him into heel, heel, to slow down, slow down, and we just can't do it anymore. It's just not fun to walk him when he's, when his nose he's sniffing, sniffing, sniffing all the time. It's just not fun. So we've got to figure out how to get more control over him when we're walking him. And hopefully this is the solution. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so you may start to see videos of us walking him with the gentle leader on and hopefully that's going to really correct that stubbornness in him too when he doesn't want to come and we'll show you guys like what we're talking about and hopefully you know the tips that worked and whatever doesn't work we'll show you guys that too anyways we got more to come with ash to kangle and hope you guys enjoy have a great day